Hi guys, I'm Jared Dickerson, the watershed specialist for the Potter County Conservation District. And today we're on Big Moore's Run in Potter County, Pennsylvania. We're going to be talking about some wetlands, and in particular, our friend the beaver. Beavers are very prolific in changing their environment. If you look around me here, every one of these stumps has been cleared off by beaver. They took everything that was essentially bigger than a pencil, and they cut it down and took it with them. They either ate it on site or took it down to a feed bank where they're dammed. They went ahead and clipped this whole section, which opened up a lot of ground cover where the sunlight's now going to get through and start some regeneration. Where I'm standing now is kind of a bare area. And prior beaver activity, not really many trees growing up. There's kind of, coming, kind of some weeds here that are starting to pop through, and some grasses. This area will be important moving forward because it will be early regenerative habitat for species like woodcock that eat thick, brushy areas that are adjacent to the water to survive. Behind me, we have the beaver dam that the beavers built to take Big Moore's Run and raise the water level to give them adequate depth to get in there and hide. Those beavers want a lot of deep water, both to cover them from predators and to create a nice slack area where they can live. Now for here, out in the middle of the dam, there's going to be a lodge somewhere that the beavers will call home until they have taken this area and eaten everything that they can, and then they will move either upstream or downstream and start all over again. So this beaver dam doesn't just benefit the beavers. All that deep water area that's created by the dam is going to benefit many other species and make this area more biologically diverse. In that dam area, you might find muskrats, you might find mink that are taking their advantage of the deeper water to hunt for fish. You're also going to get some duck species that you wouldn't see here if it was all fast moving water. So with many man-made dams, one of the chief complaints for trout habitat is that the dam, when it traps the water, warms the temperature of the water before releasing it. With a beaver dam, we really don't see this impact too much. It maintains a general temperature most of the way through because the recharge rate is so fast and because the beaver dam can help create areas of deep, cold water that the trout can use as habitat during warm times. So the area where I'm standing now is an area that was backwatered by the beaver dam. It's about 50 feet off the stream, or well away from the stream channel, and well upstream of the dam. What this area is serving to do is holding back this water for the beavers to access, but it's also taking all this area, and this area is now reconnected to the stream's floodplain. So when we get a big storm event, the stream can overtop its banks and come out through here and when it comes to this area it'll get slowed down and help to filter some of that power out of the storm water so it doesn't create so much damage. This area is also good because all this trapped kind of stagnant water is going to start to infiltrate down through the ground and help recharge our groundwater system. What you saw there is a very small offshoot of the stream. Very little flow, only a small amount of running water. And those beavers still had the instinct to come out here and build that small dam to stop that water from coming down through this side channel. Beavers have a natural instinct to stop flowing water. There was a study done where a researcher dumped a boom box into a side of a beaver dam playing the sound of running water. They would come back the next day and it would be buried under mud because the beavers didn't want to hear that sound. They thought it was a breach in their dam. The beavers are very constructive and they're second most only to people in the amount of impact they have on their environment. So our friends the beavers, they created this big wetland complex, created great habitat for themselves, other species, the fish, and provided some great environmental benefits. 
This dam will be here for a long time until the beavers have eaten themselves out of house and home and move on. Many people, when they see a dam like this, their immediate reaction is to go out and try and break it or find somebody to pull it out. The only time that should really be done is if there's an infrastructure impact, like a bridge or a house, that is getting immediately impacted by the beaver dam. In that case, the beaver should be humanely trapped out first and then the, the dam blown to help restore the creek channel. 